They told me, they challenged me to open this FD door handle. So. <laughs> Pull it, bro! Yo, unlock it, bro! Oh, what the actual hell? What? Watch this. Watch this. What? Let's go, let's go. No! What the hell? No! You're trash. <laughs> there, we there we go. I gotta get some gains before I buy an FD. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> What's going on guys? It is currently Friday, May 6th, 1220. I'm headed to Calgary, Canada. We're going to the Driven Show. This will be my second Driven Show event. The last one we went to was up in Toronto. And now we're going back to a, a much smaller city. I have no idea what's gonna be in store. And if you guys wanna go to a future Driven Show, the only requirement is that you guys gotta be in Canada. If you're already in Canada, the show will come to you. They pretty much go everywhere in Canada there is. I've never been to Calgary for any sort of automotive related event. I have no idea what to expect. I'm sure we'll see a lot of really good stuff maybe some bad stuff and maybe some weird stuff, but that's why you guys are watching this video. Man, they freaking always have us coming outside whenever I'm going anywhere in Canada. What's up? What's up, what's up? Made it. No WRX this time. Nope. I am definitely not gonna drive it all the way here. Yeah, cause you're a Toronto local, right? Oh yeah. I also thought like we'd be right smack dab in the middle of mountains and snow and trees, but no, it's kinda, nope. it's kinda more plain out here. <laughs> <laughs> we just arrived to our first stop on the trip. A little familiar face. You guys may recognize him or you may not, but either way, you're about to learn him now. We've made it to the shop of Kings Must Rise. Got your boy Birdie over there. This is the first time we've officially met. This is his latest setup. Actually just most recently all wrapped up for the show and everything going on. And then this is your more like, this is your Halo car. Yeah, this is the bread and butter, man. I'd like to say the one that kind of started everything for me. Yeah. Um, bought it stock and then ever since just like learned as much as possible. Oh, you got to flex out the best part. Oh, uh, <laughs> the main conversation starter. I try not to do this in public. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Dang, it's a whole vibe. Everything's color coordinated. I kind of have a thing I wanted to address on this video, and I feel like this car is the perfect thing for that. In the past, I've gotten a lot of criticism, and just anyone does when you're growing up building up a car, on ricing it and ricing it out. He's like, I knew this was coming. <laughs> yeah, we're Asian, okay? <laughs> Every day for dinner. You know what, well, man? I, I think like, I, I'm so past those kinds of comments. At right? the end of the day, it's, those people who are making those criticisms are, they're in no position, first of all, but I think they only say those things because they're, it's something that they wouldn't do uh, if they were in your position, you know? Yeah, and if you're gonna go by the direct terms of it being something that is, oh, just a modification that is non-functional to the car's performance. You could say, sure, there's a lot of that on this car, but I think this car doesn't deserve to get hated for because there's so much style and passion. I mean, I feel like you also got a story behind it too. Oh, wait. Like, what would you say is like, what really inspired you to go about it all this way? Uh, believe it or not, this was like, the character is actually on the dash over there. I was used to documenting my art. Mm -hmm. So it was an experiment. Uh, when I first got the car, I took out the trim pieces and I documented me wrapping the pieces. And then from there it kind of exploded. It, it introduced me to this whole new like modification realm. Uh, I based the look of it off one of my favorite anime characters from an anime called Bleach, if you guys know what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, and the enemy's name, or like the villain's name is Okiara and it's, he's basically like black and green. So that gotcha. explains, yeah. It's cool to hear like your opinion on like kind of what got you in the cars and then how it led to this because it actually makes a lot of sense. If you're an artist, you're a very visual creative person and that's what you're starting out from. That's gonna be how you're gonna start out when you have a blank slate of a car to go about is you're gonna kind of like visually modify it and just add your own certain style and flair to that. It's an extension of your passion and who you are as a person and it'll definitely show on the outside, right? Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, don't let anyone stop you from pursuing your own. I think this car proves that if you are gonna call it rice, I think it proves that rice is cool. 
<laughs> and plus, it's gonna stab you back here. It's uh, not messing around with any of the haters behind it. When you well, lose yeah, you one bolt, one you get it? Yeah. Now his leg's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, so now I need my meal. Would you like a um, burger, fries? Battle Arrow, they provide some of the biggest tables in the game. I won't lie. It's hard to capture, but the fade tint, that's cool. This thing looks 10 times crazier outside. That wing, that wing has presence. Oh. Presently. Was very present <laughs> on top of that sewer grate. <laughs> He's bringing out the car right now. He happens to have one of the best issues that any modern day YouTuber has, which is too many cars, not enough drivers. I'm gonna get a chance to take a spin behind the wheel of his fresh A90 build. I gotta be very freaking careful because that car is like fresh wrap, fresh wing, fresh detail. Dude, the color and natural lighting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and they're together? Yes. Your freaking glorious creations. My babies. <laughs> <laughs> the babies. Oh, this is something, man. Yo, this I'm, is something. Totally Alright boys, what do you think? Rice or nice? Nice. Uh, pretty good. Rice or nice on his cars? Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. They're on camera, they're, they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dang, off camera. All you need to do is add soy sauce. Yeah, no, they're pretty and good. The yeah. rice is good. They're two birdies taste. They look really nice. He had one liner deliver to all the little kids that would call it rice. You're probably right. No, I can't. <laughs> Where did this come from? How's it going, fellas? Hey, oh shit. <laughs> Yo, who is this boomer right here, eh? Know, He's going through a midlife crisis right now, so you know. <laughs> it's a oh, nice man. boomer mobile. Yeah. I'm not that old. Where can I get some of this window tint, though? You guys all got the fade tint? <laughs> this is. thing here in Calgary, man. Yeah, is it, is it a Calgary only thing? Because. I've honestly not seen it in other places. I've never seen it until I saw it for the first time too. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, I have I, to I, have I, it. Like I need to get it. It's gold, I gotta get it. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm trusting you. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, we got that copyrighted music already blasting. So this isn't my first time in an A90 Supra. The last time was actually Randy from Eliminates, his Street Hunter wide body Supra. It seems to be every single Supra I'm on drive is gonna have a Street Hunter kit on it. But I am not complaining one bit. Let's give this Supra some juice. This is how you know that you're in a Canada Supra out of all things. You look at the freaking speedometer, it's in kilometers an hour. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of threw me off for a little bit. I felt like I was in my R32 all over again. This thing's nice. <laughs> you know what I learned from this guy? Is that he cannot go a car without chassis mount winging it. <laughs> and wide bodying. <laughs> well, you know what the beautiful thing about this car is? What? Some beautiful woman in Las Vegas has won this. <laughs> really? Yeah, so oh, yeah, somebody in Las giveaway. Vegas. Yeah, this was right, a right, giveaway right. car that Brady did. No Me and way. Him worked on this pretty hard. Well, she better know what she's in for. She better get the premix formulas yeah, ready. Exactly. And then the freaking no, all of this. Rundown. She needs a whole rundown on the good old Ren. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Oh, oh, he had to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, could you imagine if the rear suicide door also just. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, with everything open, it, it looks so funny. It looks it's like gotta, a butterfly. Dude, it probably looks like Bumblebee the Transformer. Yeah. That's you're, what the element was going to look like. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I commend him for? The fact that he's able to do this with the freaking wide body kit. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. I guess another message to the haters is that, dude, if you hate it, well, there's apparently a lot of people that really wanted this car and they freaking chipped in to freaking get their entry. So yeah, exactly. someone won it and they walked away with the free RX-8. Or, or somebody won two piece CR. <laughs> CR Kai's? Yeah, two piece CR Kai's. Maybe they just wanted those, but. <laughs> <laughs> they bought in the entries just for the CR Kai's. How's it looking so far? Very surprised. Very surprised? Yeah. That's good, that's yeah, good. That's some nice high caliber cars for sure. Yo! Yo! How's so, it going, man? Going good. Yo, yo. Can I get a picture?
picture with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice I was like you guys. watching your videos all last night, stoked to meet yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> That's rad. That's, That's rad. Awesome. Oh, yo, can I get a picture? <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, guys. This venue's nuts, dude. This almost reminds me of the Tokyo Auto Salon Center. This the, is the circle. Yeah, this is yeah. this is crazy. I want to say this place is probably used for one big athletic center, but this is the one that I told you yesterday. These now we got cooler stuff in here. Wendell's like my personal bodyguard. <laughs> Pretty just much. walking around. He's got the driven staff merchandise, and he's just following me. He even got your radio. There's more trouble coming after. Oh, definitely. <laughs> these guys at the eBay Motors booth got me hooked up with uh, one. They got waters. There we go, man. And then they also. Also got these cool cards made that I could sign for you guys, the fans that come up here. This is a surprise. I did not know this would be at the event. But that is rad. What's up? Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, of course. That's of sick. course. Can you have a photo with you? Yeah, no, of course. Dude, it's dude custom faded. <laughs> I bought this thing. I'm like, hey, no matter what happens, I'm getting Jack Ultra Motive to sign this. Yeah, and you damn you right. Me, would you do me the honors of signing this hat? Of course. We out here, driven Calgary right now. We're looking for the hottest, steamiest rice on the freaking market. Check this thing out. ND Miata. Rocket Bunny kit or Pandem kit. I mean, he doesn't have his hood prop, so I don't know what's going on underneath the hood, but as far as I know, I mean, Miata's already calibrated well. I don't think this kit is doing anything for him. In fact, I think that this wing is probably slowing him down more than anything, but dude, it's cool. It's executed phenomenally. Sure, you could call it rice, but I think it's good rice. So my line is like, if you're gonna call a car rice down, usually that would be just because it's putting something that clearly doesn't belong whatsoever. Like if you have a completely bone stock Prius and you slap on a giant like eBay wing on that, sure, that's rice. Or if the way you go about it, you have like clearly lack of vision, no game plan, it's just chaotic, it's all over the place and it looks absolutely hideous. Sure, that could be awful. But this guy, and let's say if this car is just fully cosmetically modified and it's not performance oriented, there's a vision for it and it's come together really well. So it's rice can be done. Yeah, it's tastefully done. And I think as long as your car is tasteful, it all flows together. Who cares if it's rice? I mean, I have a thing or two for Advan liveries. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny though, because what's right next to him is probably the opposite of rice. This looks this, like a full-on time attack car. These are, all of these mods are really functional. This is so gangster. This is, dude, even down to the, the intake intense. headlight mod, straight to the freaking board Warner. Oh! Bro, oh. I've always wanted to see this in person. He's got the infinite halos, the infinite taillights. People tag me this all the time. I'll see it on Instagram. They're like, oh, why don't you do it? I mean, Honestly, it would suit you. It might suit me. I don't know if it, it suits my car. car. It doesn't suit my car. car is like a little more mature. This car is like a show build, I can see. I mean, dude, come on. Come on. Dude, I almost had you. They were like, how much titanium you want? Yes. <laughs> I've been watching your Forza videos for like five years. Man. Right on, man. That's awesome. Right on, yeah. Did you want a photo or anything? Or? Uh, sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> He's like, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm gonna get hypnotized. <laughs> I like this guy's rap a lot. This is really cool. And I think it's also a drift car, which is 10 times cooler. I don't even know how he did this. How does he have the fade in each piece? How do you do that? You tell me they got the stock convertible out here. Oh, this is straight, this is straight granny spec right here. Yes, sir. It's full. Dude, granny. I wasn't kidding, it's full granny spec. Granny. Bro, that's so wholesome. I think this is really well done. Dude, he doesn't even have the ugly like rubber lining. It doesn't. That goes on the outside. See, you know a BRZ is good when I point it out because there's a million BRZs you're gonna see at every show. But this one, I mean, he on them Meisters. He gives my BRZ certification of approval. Already know the dream. Oh, Already on the know. main wallpaper too. It yeah. doesn't end. I just love JZ's, man. JZ's. Right, right, so this this one out of ten. This one, yo, this one I give it a six. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this one in particular, it's black. No, no offense to dark colors, but I want a white one. Also, I don't like that diffuser. 
Is that just like a top secret style? I mean, it might be something that he's actually making himself. That looks very DIY. It does, doesn't it? So, hey, I'm always open to giving respect for things done DIY. Yeah, no, That's it does cool. take a lot of work and effort and creativity. Yeah. But, but hey, you got a point. You, you see black supers everywhere. Yeah, for sure. It may be a 6 out of 10 in his book, but it is better than I could ever create. Yeah. <laughs> better than I could dream too. <laughs> Dude, I think he took his inspiration from the prehistoric times. Yeah. He was like reptilian dinosaur. Dinosaurs, I want that. If he rubs anywhere, you can see exactly where it's rubbing because the fender just deletes itself yeah, right there. Best trunk set up in the show? Dude, I think it could be. It reminds me of, like, it looks like a Gucci store in there. Look at this. He's got his airlift E-level controller. They cut out the armrest box to fit that in there. That's OEM. Like, if you, uh, there's literally other RSX Avants here yeah. where I've showed it and it's just flat. So like, and it's well done because look how the leather just goes around. Oh, no. Best fitment award. Holiday Inn, hotel, key. Bro. Bro. No. Bro. No. He's too good. He's too good. And he on the PSX axis though. You're becoming such a common heel. I know. Dude, imagine running VSXXs on your car. Yeah, right. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be you. You see the FD over there? Yeah, the yellow one? Yeah. Yeah, that thing's crazy. Yeah, it's That's a freaking, so uh, it's a monstrosity of an insane creation. FD's cool and all, but do you not see the Supra? White on white. Okay, Dude, have... okay but, but we gotta acknowledge the Hellcat. Oh, in the FD. Dude, you can really fit anything in here. You can. Like, what it's... the hell? Alright, now back to a more important subject matter. The white on white. Oh, jeez. I actually have no idea what kit this is. It's definitely like more early 2000s, 90s style. Dude, the welds on the manifold and everything, too. Oh, we got the Tomei fuel, fuel rail. Yes, sir. That's sick. It doesn't even look like a skyline. The body kit is so abstract, it almost changes it into a completely different car. All I'm saying is these bronze 37 XTs, they would look really good on Bigfoot. And they do make them in a bolt pattern that would fit the Raptor. So we could have TEs on the Raptor in time. That is gangster. I approve. The only sad part is you gotta wait like 12 months yeah. from Japan. I think this is the first fair lady I've ever seen in person. Unless I was in Japan and I probably overlooked them because you know, you, you wouldn't notice a 350Z in Japan. But here in North America, you wouldn't find this anywhere in the States. So the biggest thing, this is right hand drive. Right hand drive Z. Got to send it to all the Miata friends back at home. Tell me a little bit about this thing. You got, is it a BN kit? Or yeah, is so it... it's a BN kit. Uh, it's got an angle kit in the front, CAS lock differential. Are you going to slide it? Oh yeah, it's, so it's a fully purpose built, drift built. Um, we're, it's actually got a Bluetooth RB25 in it right now. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, so, okay. So we got to connect that sucker back Yeah, up. so the engine's back at the shop. Our shop is in Edmonton. Oh, um, so it's not even in there. No, dude, it's Bluetooth, I told you. Oh, I could just <laughs> hop right in the engine bay right now. It'd be jack swapped. <laughs> Yo, pop the hood, you won't. No, I can't. <laughs> dude, cars like this are this nice. When I hear that they're gonna be drifted, part of me is like, oh, it's gonna hurt. But then part of me is like, of course. Yes, for, yeah, it's what it's meant for. There, you can, you can take it right there. There you go. <laughs> so you want me to sign your car? Yeah, would you be able to? Yeah, let's do it. All right, don't tell me what it is. We're just gonna walk, I'm gonna find out for myself. All right, all right. Yo, it better not be the Dodge Dart on Steelies over there. Got it. <laughs> oh shoot, where are we going to? Where are we going to? Where are we going? Where are we going? This is always the most fun mystery. When someone wants me to sign their dash or whatnot, and I don't know what car it's gonna be. Oh, this oh. Right hey! I mean, no matter what it was gonna be, it's in the show, so I knew it was gonna be cool. <laughs> Unless it's the Dodge Dart on Steelies. Yeah. <laughs> Fans trying to get a photo right now. His friend don't know how to use the DSLR. Yeah, he, don't know how to use he don't know how to use the camera. Uh, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did we get the shot? He did it! Do oh, you want to do it? Yeah? Yeah, I can't do it. Lendl's like, <laughs> step aside. I got this. <laughs> I heard the shutter. Yeah. I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Got two. 
That's amazing. Hey, hey, hey. Thank hey, you so much. Hey, hey. Right on, man. Lendl's the man. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. He's got right, it. Go uh, let's go. Her special request is fan requested to be in this vlog. So, any words? What's up, man? It's like and share and subscribe to a track on Ultra Motor. He's the best. He said it. You heard it right here. Yes, sir. My name is Zane and my ad is Razor1000X and I've been watching for five years. OG, OG man right here. <laughs> SOS. Oh, he, no, no, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. oh, I called 911. 911, I'm freaking. Chill. <laughs> yeah, I remember the phone my, was My pocket down 911. You literally you need to take me away, yo. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, they're gonna call me back and be like, yo, what the hell? Oh, what happened? Oh, the crowd's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I'm not lying. I call. Oh! <laughs> you do it again. Call them again. <laughs> bro, bro, this is good. <laughs> what kind of drift car would you build when you grow up? What would your most ideal car that you like so far? Driven! Just gonna throw on right now. For yeah! Sure. Yo, throw it back here! Guys, throw it over back. Over here! Oh, Yo! Guys, Show just ended, and now it's the interesting time where we get to hear every single car in here start up. So you know I'm always on the lookout for S14 Koki front end parts, especially after our incident with the wall. This guy happens to have some of the coolest Koki headlights I've ever seen. Check these out. Futuristic as hell. But he told me that what he did, he custom made those and he took the housing out of an Acura TLX. You can kind of see it when you see all the freaking individual bulbs and stuff all aligned together like that. <laughs> freaking static on this thing always, right here. Always static. No and in the actual fair lady. Hell yeah. Right hand drive. Dude, I've never seen so many right hand drive cars in my life. Man, when you're in Canada, that's all you see. Why would you buy a USDM when it, where everything's legal here? Exactly, right? Legal, no, he's you? speaking back. How, how much time did it take to engineer and get that freaking set up how it is? Oh man, the first time I stanced this thing, it was about a total of eight months of me putting it together. And then till after that, it was just creating new wheels. That's all it was. That's, that's how the people do it in Japan, so we're just trying to bring it out here, right? Yeah, exactly. Japan goes crazy, so I'm trying to bring that out here. Freaking bro-dozer, dude. This is what happens when you leave your Dodge Challenger out in the snow for too long. Overall, driven show at this event, 10 out of 10. Calgary's car scene, 10 out of 10. I always try my best to go into these places with absolutely zero expectation. That way I can't be disappointed whatsoever. If you made it this far into the video, shout out to those of you that maybe have noticed that the quality was slightly improved throughout all my six years or so of vlogging. I've been using a Canon 80D and this video marks a new chapter in Ultramotive Vlogs where we have now swapped to the Sony A7S III. This is the perfect place to sign out this video. The next Driven event I should be at will be Driven Vancouver, June 25th, Vancouver, Canada. You guys better bring out the heat. And in return, I'll try and bring out one of my cars. On that note, it's gonna be Jack Ultramotive. Sign in this video, off. Pretty dang good, eh? Pretty dang sweet, dude. Oh! <laughs> Almost fucking died. <laughs>